Kyla Ross, the freshman and the gold medalist in 2012, ready to go. She also won a silver medal at World Championships on this event in 2013. Even though she's a taller gymnast, she works the bar so beautifully. Great lines. Wow. Wow is right, Sam. Well, she was barely over five feet tall in the Olympic Games. And so a lot of height that she has to make clearance between those two bars. Wise move to move the bars out because look at the beautiful form and technique. She is known for that leg straight, together, locked in position, even in the air. Oh, nice. And look at the landing. Bruins hoping to drop Koshin with the low score. Ross has been brilliant once more. 9-9 on the table, 9-9-2-5 on bars. Says she's really enjoying the college experience. Academics now, such a big part of her life, majoring in bioengineering. Back handspring layout to start off their team was very solid. Switch ring, beat jump combination. Season I, 9-9-7-5 against Arizona State, a pair of 9-8-7-5s most recently against Utah in their loss on Saturday. She's another athlete on this roster that really doesn't have any built-in deductions. This is where she wobbled last weekend at Utah and had no problems today. This is looking pretty flawless so far. All she has is the dismount aerial back layout full, and she sticks it. And she brought the house down with that one. The beam, Ohashi, remember, has gone perfect 10, two meets in a row. UCLA's not done. Step out. This was the event that many remember her on in her elite career and at the Olympics. Beautiful switch ring directly connected. Three wins this year, including the perfect 10. She's an athlete that many would say has that perfect technique and that gives her such unique elements as well as consistency. Solid front aerial. Top 10 on this event in the country right now. Throughout the season, I had a chance to obviously talk to Kyla as well as Madison Koshin, Michaela Skinner, and all of them have said college gymnastics is so fun. And you can see that on their faces. It goes from the 10 of Peng Peng Lee to the Olympian Kyla Ross. Holding that opening handstand. Kyla doesn't have the high flying releases, but she's got the technique. Oh, look at this core and the strength. beautiful line. Just fought through that. She's number three in the country. She is the defending NCAA champion on this event. Dismounting double layout. Unbelievable. <laughs> she gets it. Back to back tens for UCLA. Gold medalist. Ross, the fierce five in the London games. She seems to do her best when she knows her score is needed. Of course, they already had a fall in the lineup, so there's a little bit more writing on this routine than there normally is, which kind of brings out her greatness on this event. And I didn't see any deductions there. Beautiful job! Oh my! Oh my gosh! <laughs> she has wanted that stuff. This is the only event in which she isn't ranked, but she does have two individual wins on vault this year. Yurchenko, one and a half. That's she's, good stuff. She scored a 10 last meet. I mean, there is, I didn't see any deductions on that at all. She has four wins, and last week against Arizona, 9-9-7-5 on this event. 
beautiful. Defending NCAA champion on bars. Kyla's technique on this event is what makes her so consistent. She's a tall gymnast, so it is all about making the swing easy. So she uses perfect technique start to finish and put up another. We talked about stars. Here is Kyla Ross. She is superb, almost sublime on yes. this event. Watch the patience. She takes her time and shows off every skill to its fullest. Gorgeous fail to Hanson, and that was a skill she had to rework the timing in the warm-up because these bars are set up differently. She is a pro and a oh phenomenal my. athlete at work. Perfect meet so far, but that was a great effort. Kyla Ross now. One and a half. Boom! Oh my! Oh my oh. gosh! Two five on the beam. Kyla Ross. When Kyla Ross steps to any apparatus, the room goes quiet. And look at the crowd, laser focus. She's number seven, six times has gone at least nine nine on beam. And a perfect backhand spring layout step out. She is not going to be in the floor today. So this is it, this will complete her program. Well, I mentioned her unbelievable performance against Oklahoma where she had two perfect tens, one on vault and bars, and then a 9.975 on floor. And when I told her I felt like her beam routine was going to get a 10 until she took a small step on the dismount, she said, no, I was down in the 9.8s. I said, what? So she is fighting for a big score right here. Sometimes the best thing you can do is do what you do every day, which is stay cool, calm on this event, beautiful amplitude, full extension on that split. Stepping up for the dismount. She has a combination, side aerial to the full twist. She needs to spot the ground, arms are out. That's at a 9.975 on beam. Kyla Ross said, I want to be in the floor. It's Ms. Val's farewell. You're not getting me out of the lineup. We called it earlier, Jim. In this routine, of course. It's the only event she's never had a 10. And ironically, the theme of this routine is the 10-0 theme. Well, and she has six straight beats with a 10 and doesn't have one yet. She's number five in the country, two wins. Nice landing. She had a 9.975 at Oklahoma. She's enjoying herself. Of course, this is the event that she struggled on freshman and sophomore year. And to watch her compete now, I mean, even in this meet more than ever, I've never seen her smile with that pure joy smile she's showing right now. You know it's real. It is hard to compete a floor team, especially this late in the season with the endurance level. But being able to do it in front of this many fans, in front of Miss Val to honor her, that's special. Wow. Ross has done all she can, and you'll tell by the crowd. Oh my gosh. It's a 10. She's got the grand slam. Big scores, and they have their big name gymnast last up. Ross, number one in the country on this event. Six wins. And that's why it's her details, hitting every single handstand like that. She has three perfect tens this year. She's had a 10 in seven straight meets. <laughs> now she steps to the floor as the number six gymnast in the country. And all nine of her floors this year have been at least 9-9. Nine -nine. Rip, double tuck, big air, great landing. Coming right back with that second tumbling pass combination. We have a few all-arounders in this competition. Ross is one of them, Skinner is another, and they were actually tied after three events. They had a 29-8, both of them. So this last event is going to make or break the all-around for these young ladies. Now, if you ask them, that's not on the back of their mind. All they're caring about is putting the routine up their team needs. Team score.
When I start shaking my head, that means I have no idea where they're going to find a deduction. Unbelievable. He said he made it to compete another day, but they have a lot left in them. Yurchenko, one and a half. Another step landing. <laughs> Kyla Ross finishing up beam and Ariana Guerra anchoring Bama on floor and what a good rotation it's been for them. Locked and loaded. Definitely the type of competitor you'd like to see up there Beautiful. after a fall. Beautiful turn and dances right out of it. Beautiful leaps. She'll finish with a side aerial into a fall. Looking for that stick and. Woo! There it is. Bruins needed that one. That was the mindset coming into this competition, of course. So looking quickly at Kyla Ross up here on Mars, anchoring this lineup. What a stud she's been. Started this meet with a 10 yesterday on Mars. What do you think today? Let's see. So far, so good to me. Finish with a double layout. And wow. It's there a stick. It is. <laughs> Get I didn't any deductions <laughs> in that. Kyla Ross. Ross went 9875 on vault. Beautiful transition right off the top. Was ranked during the regular season number one in the country last year on this event. The key for her is not trying too hard. Her gymnastics is technically beautiful. And their numbers, it's in, it's a 10. That's 20 perfect tens. If you missed it, let's take another look at the perfect 10 routine from Kyla Ross on the uneven bars. Gorgeous Maloney right into the shoot over. And you can see everything she does is so smooth. We're not seeing a lot of wiggling either way. Hits those handstands. At 5'6 on bars, she does a great job with her tap swings. Huge, huge dismount. Seven wins, all of her scores, nine, eight, seven, five or better. Look for something special. She did it. Another stuck landing from Kyla Raj. I don't know how she continues to improve each week, but she finds a way to do it on one event, all of the events. Like just when you think she is the best that she could possibly be, she finds a way to do it. So it has been six weeks since Kyla Ross got a 10. And now you can wipe it away. We've been talking about it. She's deserved it. She's earned it. And they finally gave it to her. That's 22 career for Kyla Ross.